Check it out, we're standing on the roof of my custom Jeep. I got my 50 cal right here. And today's video is about beating inflation. And um, I've got $1,000 in my hand right now. And if you've been watching, inflation is sitting right now around 10%. That means that 100 of these $1,000 is gonna be poofed. So I'm just gonna kind of shove that in the barrel here. And um, we're just going to, we're just gonna fire this gun right now because that's essentially what's happening to your money. One, 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 one shot, now the future is yours, go. I'm turning dreams into reality, yeah. It's one, all, one shot, now the future is yours, go. So inflation is super, super real, right? I mean, you work hard to make money, and then there's this invisible force based on choices of supply chain, government, recessions, that basically evaporates some of your money, which means that there's some of your buying power that you lose. And today, I wanna to talk about how you can actually fight against that, even beat inflation. We're gonna talk about like what is the real number, where is it actually at, what's the government doing to create more of it, try to actually bring that number down a little bit. And today, if you're a good listener, my goal over the next five years is to save half your money from being poofed. What do you mean? I, I have a hundred dollars. Not anymore you don't, poof. Wait a second, what do I mean that you could risk losing half of your wealth? Well, if inflation were sitting at, let's just say 10%, year one is 10%, year two is 10%, year three is 10%, year four is 10%, year five is 10%, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 that's 50%. And while mathematically it won't literally equate to losing half, if inflation gets worse, it could. So let's talk about how inflation ruins your savings, your accumulation pattern. Inflation is the decline of purchasing power of a given currency over time. Anytime your savings doesn't grow at the same rate as inflation, you will lose money. In June of this year, inflation peaked to a 40-year high at 9.1%. Now, it has gone down to maybe like 8%, but remember that the 100-year average is sitting right around 3%. So right now, we are almost triple than where we normally are over a 100-year average. And if we don't really solve this, this month it goes down eight, next month it's up nine, it certainly could hit, hit 10, 11, 12, 13%, and that would be devastating because if you've been putting money in savings, a 401k or an IRA, anytime you're trying to accumulate money for retirement that is just sitting somewhere earning less than this figure right here, it means that you're actually sliding backwards. Shoot, I'm the world's best backwards driver. You just watch this right here, lover boy. Now the government has a couple solutions for you because they know this is a concern, so they've come up with a couple of strategies. The first one is what's called a TIPS, or a Treasury Inflation Protected Security. In other words, the government is saying, hey, if you buy some of these government-backed notes, watch what they do. Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, or TIPS, are a type of treasury security issued by the U.S. government. As inflation rises, tips adjust in price, the principal amount, in order to maintain the real value. So basically the government is tracking consumer price index and there's an official amount. And what they're saying is if you buy this type of treasury bill, then if inflation goes up 5%, then the return on this is gonna also go up 5%. And if you think about it, the government's basically saying, hey, we want to see if we can give you a safe place to store some cash that no matter how high inflation gets, the government's gonna back it. But for some reason that wasn't quite enough, so the government came out with a second type of tips. It's like tips 2.0, it's called an I-bond. And I-bonds are another government product designed to protect your money from inflation. You can buy I-bonds at 9.62% through October 2022. That rate is going to be applied for the first six months after the purchase is made. But after that, this number is going to adjust based on whatever the next CPI or consumer price index is. So in other words, if inflation goes down to 5%, then this amount would drop to 5%. If inflation goes up to 15%, then this would go up to 15%. Now, the downside on an I-bond is that you're capped at $10,000 per individual per year. So you could drop 10,000 one year, 10,000 a second year, 10,000 a third year, and there's another restriction. Once you buy your I-bond, you're penalized if you try to pull it out 
in the first five years. So basically they're saying, well, there'll be some withdrawals and penalties for the first five years. But what we're trying to do is the government is saying, hey, give us your money. We need your money. By the way, we're always raising money from China. So we're going to take it and use it to run the government. But the return that we're going to give you is basically going to be tied to the consumer price index so that after five years, you can get it back. And no matter how bad inflation was, we're going to do our best to try to keep you protected. We're saved. We've got tips. We've got eye bonds. Everything's wonderful. Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this song. Everything is awesome. Well, let's actually evaluate your definition of wonderful. Okay, inflation can hurt us. So these are a couple of tools that are designed to fight that. Is it really productive? Is it really good? I've got a secret weapon that I use to evaluate my opportunities. I call it the rule of 72. And here's what the rule of 72 is designed to do. The rule of 72 is an easy way to know how fast your investment will double when compound interest is applied. Because if you earn a rate of return one year on your money, and let's say your money grows, then the next year, it's actually gonna grow at a slightly faster rate because you have last year's interest applied to the note. So check it out. Let's just say by way of example, you invested in I bonds at 9.62% rate. And if you were to divide 72 by 962, you would get 7.48. This means that your investment will double every seven and a half years. If you were to invest $10,000 in 40 years, this would yield over $320,000 in principle. Now, by the way, it would be really cool if that would be a steady rate that paid 9.6% out because that's pretty much competing with the S&P 500. And what it does is it kind of illustrates a really big problem in people's accumulation mindset. You see, we all got jobs and we're trading our time for money. And as we do that, we get money and then we like to put it in places that, you know, it sits in this 401k earning 6%, it sits in this IRA earning 5%, it sits in the stock market over 30 years averaging, you know, 8.5%. And the rule of 72 doesn't just help you understand how long it takes to double money, it also points out some of the flaws of how long it takes to double money when you're earning a very low ROI, which I define as any interest rate under 10%. Since all of us are putting our money in 401ks and IRAs and at retirement, we give our money to a company like Vanguard to basically, you know, issue some money back to us, some interest off of our lifetimes of savings. My big question is how well is that working out anyway? Well, check this out. According to Vanguard, the average 65 year old has $209,000 in their 401k. This is largely due to the mistake of investing in single digit ROI. Those who achieve financial security diversify their investments with double digit or triple digit or quadruple digit ROIs. Like I talk about in my book, Have It All, the subtitle, The Roadmap to Becoming a Self-Made Millionaire in five years or less. Now, most wealthy people will achieve it in less than five years, but that's not because their money is sitting in a 401k earning 5% or an IRA earning 4% or the S&P even earning eight or 9%. They're tapping into double digit, triple digit, and quadruple digit ROIs. In a moment, I'll show you what that looks like. Point that I'm making here is that tips and I bonds are following more of this 401k, IRA, single digit mentality where we work really hard to save a little bit. And when you have it earning a real small rate of return to keep it really safe, then by the time you need your money to retire, ask yourself this question. Can you retire on $209,000? I think not. I think not. Now for our third option today, I want to show you what happens if you can go from earning seven, eight, nine percent to a double digit, like 25% in the game of real estate. You see, I understand that when Albert Einstein said that the greatest financial achievement is compound interest, like ever of all time, it's because he understood that something compounds powerfully over time is something that if you take advantage of it can change everything for you. As in this, I could give you a million dollars right now, or I could give you a penny that every day this month will double. By 30 days, guess what you'll wind up more money with? A penny that doubles every day for 30 days or the million bucks. You're right, it's the penny that doubles and that's because of the benefit of what's called compound interest. And so what I want you to understand is that when things compound 
in a single digit level of four, five, six percent over 40 years, it's not meaningful. Single digits can compound into something meaningful after maybe 150 to 250 years. So you need a couple of lifetimes to get there. You need a higher ROI if you want to get there faster, which is why the third type of strategy to really beat inflation, as in like crush inflation, is taking a look at something called real estate. It's free real estate. This is going to seem fairly unbelievable. Take a gander. Real estate, if it's earning a 25% ROI, that's my minimum standard. It has to produce at least that. If you take then at the rule of 72, it means that your money doubles every 2.88 years, which also means that $10,000 invested for 40 years has an opportunity to double 13 times. And that $10,000, guess what it can become over 40 years? $81 million. Now that seems like a freakishly huge number, but I got news for you. There's a reason why 90% of all millionaires did it in the game of real estate. And that meant that they didn't just buy and try to pay off the home that they were living in. They started buying real estate the way that I did that made me financially free at the age of 26. By the time I was 26 years old, I owned 25 properties and that produced 12,000 residual dollars a month. That was money left over every month from collected rents after paying the mortgage. And it worked so well that when I graduated college and I had my 25 homes, I actually quit my job, got rid of my college and basically went into the game of real estate. And that year I doubled my portfolio again and then I doubled it again and I doubled it again. And basically that's what I've been doing ever since. So real estate at a 25% ROI, that's powerful. But the truth is I'm not averaging 25%. I'm actually averaging 34%. That means buying a single home, like one home on a system that I teach in this book, Have It All, over 20 years, if we were to average continually 34%, that would compound into over $17 million. Now it's not get rich quick, but it is most certainly getting rich. By the way, if you think that's cool, I don't just teach double digit ROIs in this book. I actually teach triple digit ROIs. Like how do you make hundred percent or 500%? I also teach quadruple digit ROIs. Like how do you make a thousand percent, 5,000%? Can you make 50,000% on your money? In this book, I show you five different investment strategies of how it is realistically actually achieved in today's very real world. And this book is a gift for me to you. As in, if you click the link below, as long as you'll cover the shipping, I will have this sent out to you. It's beautiful. It's full color. It's my fifth book. It is a bestseller and it gives you the entire roadmap of the five vehicles that you invest in starting from nothing or even in debt like I did on how you ultimately become financially free, but not over 10 or 20 or 30 years, how you actually do it a lot sooner than that. Okay. Crown buy real estate. I hear it, but I don't got no money. Like, I can't invest in real estate if I don't have money. Well, it turns out there's five really popular strategies for how you acquire real estate with no money whatsoever. And if you want to know how to do that, click this video right here. And title is the secret to beating inflation. Three ways. Check it out. We're standing on the roof of my Jeep. 